What is she doing that makes you want to leave? Why are you unhappy? Just the anger and the lack of communication that me and her had. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. James and Penny met in a small town near Dallas, Texas. They married for the first time in 1992 and bore two children. They divorced in 2000 and remarried in 2002. But James is once again ready to divorce Penny for the second time. There's a difference between love and in love. And you weren't in love with her anymore? No. It's got my self-esteem so long, Your Honor, that I'm walking on my own self-esteem. And tomorrow on this special two-part session of Divorce Court, will DNA results reveal that this husband and wife are actually brother and sister, too? There's this other huge, monstrous elephant in the room that you two have been dealing with for two decades. Um, I'm afraid she's my sister. And will Penny's tears be those of relief or grief. You understand that the question is, they're wondering whether or not they share a father in common. And I do have a copy of the results here, which I'm going to give to you. All this and more today on this most unusual edition of Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with James Seaton and Penny Seaton. Mr. and Mrs. Seaton, an interesting case here. You two have been, were originally married in 1992. You got divorced. Yes. And then you got remarried. Yes. And you want to get divorced again. Yes. And that's why you're here. Yes. Uh, you two, uh, so how long have you been married the last time? This time? This, this, yes. Yeah, uh, since 02. Since 02. Yes. So about, you, you guys go for 10 years, get divorced, 10 years, looking for a divorce. Yes. You also have an issue that has been dogging you and haunting you for the last two decades that you've been afraid to look at in the face, but you've decided to do it today, right. and we're going to resolve that issue for you. But before we do, I'm going to start with you, Mr. Seaton. Why don't you tell me, tell me, first of all, tell me a little bit about the first marriage and how, how and why it ended? Um, it was all good. First, first marriage. It, five years was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I had a party at the house one time, and a um, little girl showed up. Her ladies, uh -huh. rather, I'm sorry. I hooked up with this girl for off and on for five years. I am, that's my fault. Well, that was disrespectful, uh, yes. I, I, uh, just started seeing her off and on five years, mm -hmm. and it was good. Miss Seaton over here, she started getting an anger problem. Then I seen, I, I was seeing this other girl after that. Okay. Now, now hang on, Mrs. Seaton, is, I, I assume the story is accurate, because nobody would tell that story on themselves and it not be true. Did he start seeing another woman yes. in the fifth year of your first marriage? Yes, for five years. For five years. Now, did you know about it the entire five years? I didn't know about it the whole five. I oh, so he was sneaking it. around behind your back? Yes, ma'am. I had an idea, but I couldn't catch him. You couldn't catch him. Did you have an idea it was her, or did you think he was just philandering it was her. in general? She made phone calls. What'd she say? Kept calling his cell phone, and the cell phone bill come in my name, so... So you knew. I knew when it was about 40 calls a month to the same number, mm -hmm. back and forth. I set her straight when she called. When did you finally catch him, or when did you... It finally came to a point you said, well, you're not going to put up with it anymore, and you're going to leave. I what happened? Actually, he followed on me that first time, and I just signed the papers and let him have everything. Did you... You were cheating on her. Yep. She pretty much was keeping her eyes closed and letting you, letting you have your cake and eat it too. Yep. And you still filed. Yes, ma'am. Why? There's a difference between love and in love. And you weren't in love with her anymore? No. You were in love with this other woman? Not really. It was just, uh, I guess, a fling type thing. Five years is a little more than a fling when you say Mr. C. Oh, would too. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Mrs. Seaton, what did he tell you? 
He's not seeing nobody. He's not seeing nobody. Oh, then he was telling you he wasn't seeing right. anybody. Yeah. Uh -huh. we but had why little... did he say he wanted a divorce? What was going on that ended it? Was it just one little person. He was seeing her, and I found out about it. And we had a place way out in the country, way out there. He had the only vehicle. Picked her up, left me at the house for overnight. And I couldn't borrow a car because I was going to have a car borrowed. Overnight. And I was going to go down there and catch them. <laughs> it was more than overnight. Did you do that? Yes, ma'am, I did. It, did. it was not overnight. It was for two days. <laughs> so. Did you feel OK with that? Was that? No, I knew I was doing wrong. But hey, I just wanted to get out in the real world and figure it out, you know? Uh -huh. That's just the way it was. Um, How come you let him have everything? You didn't have nothing to, I didn't have nothing to lose. You didn't have anything to lose? If you lost him, that was everything? That was it. Didn't you feel horrible? Yes, ma'am. I feel horrible. I didn't even do it to her. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I did. Why did you leave her everything since you were just leaving? Well, I, I, I wanted to give it to her. She just didn't want it, period. She didn't want it, so I wasn't going to just throw it away. Your Honor, what am no. I going to do with his clothes in a toolbox? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's all we had. Right? You can give it to that other man you were seeing. Good for you, Mrs. Seaton. When Divorce Court continues, how unfaithful has James been? Uh, there was women in and out of my house uh, every day, every day. Are you ready to kick your mate to the curb? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222. Or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of James Seaton, who is divorcing his wife for the second time because he's tired of her constant controlling and nagging. When you say she was controlling, explain that to me. I'm not allowed to talk to any, any females at all. Now, how did you two get back together after after such an unfortunate end? How did you get back together? Well, actually, I wrote an ad in the paper, personal ads, uh -huh. I might add. Uh, there was women in and out of my house uh, every day, every day. Uh, well, you're I, just a man, Mr. Seaton. Out, 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 of, out, of, out of two weeks, one day she come knocking on my door. Uh, I had to let her in. I had to make some room, you know. I, I'm not going to let her so sit out So you were there. rotating your women. Yes, ma'am. And, and, and she knocked on the door and eased into your rotation. No, I let her in. I'm yeah, not well, going well, yeah, no, you're not gonna, you eat, She eased her way into right. your rotation. Right. And then you rotated the other women out? Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay. Eventually. Now, what made you want to do that? Why didn't you just keep them We started talking orbiting. again. Orbiting. We started talking again. And, um, and you figured out you were, in fact, in love with her. Uh, yes, ma'am, I did. At that point, I did. And um, did you hear talk. that part, Miss Seaton? We talked. We talked several, several, several weeks. It wasn't just several one day. Weeks. Several weeks. I mean, it went in almost to months. And finally, I, I begged her. She remarried me. Um, we, in fact, we got married by an honorable judge friend of ours. And that was that was a good time. I stayed pretty good for the last for two years, I guess. And you two have two kids together. Yes, ma'am. And uh, when did this second marriage start to go badly for you? Um, about two, probably about two years into it. What happened? Uh, well, Not I was at woman, home. Was it? I was in kind of in between a job. I was at home, and this lady here, she worked in the evening time, uh -huh. and I knew exactly what time she'd come home. Right. <laughs> uh, guess what? <laughs> This time she was two hours early. Uh, well, throwed Caught me you out. right in the middle. No, huh? she throwed me out and throwed that girl out, and throwed her clothes outside, and told her to get dressed outside. You got yeah. you, Honor. I do. Yeah. I got Mr. C. Actually, go ahead. Go ahead. Actually, he got it almost right. I yanked her out first. Well, then he her out first. And he came, he followed. I was going home for a surprise, surprise him, but I got surprised. Oh, so you didn't know he was at it again. Was he a ladies' man the entire time? When you met him, was he, was he dating a lot of women? Was he always like that? Because apparently he is a ladies' man. 
right? Yes, ma'am. You like the women? <laughs> yes, ma'am. There you go. Well, he was dating another one when, I, when he was dating me, and he chose me over her. Right. And so you, you, you thought he meant it? Yeah. Now, now, Mr. But some of these women I seen on special that one, I don't know what he's seen in her. Oh, come on now. She's just a female. It's just Respect. free. That's it. Right. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> I'm not going to say. That, yeah, uh, that, that, smart man. So after you caught him, then what happened? That's it. We're here. No, actually, what happened was she caught me the second time. Uh huh. Well, she tell me about the second time. No, it's the second time. It's, the, it's not funny, but Mr. Seaton is a funny guy. I mean, I, I, I'm not making making light of the situation because it's terrible, Mr. Well, she Seaton. She's a nice take lady. Her. She did trying to take what belongs to her, but you know. Well, what, well, what happened the second time? Uh, she come home from work one day and I miscalculated. The lady was driving out the driveway. She pulls in and hollered at her. She stopped. There was a brick laying on the ground and out went the windows. When divorce court continues, is Penny ready for this marriage to end? I miss the Seaton. You done with him this time? I've had a hard life. And he's all the family I got now. And tomorrow, after 20 years, DNA results will reveal if James and Penny are actually brother and sister. We did calculations and we determined with a 99.3% certainty. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Penny Seaton, who claims she has caught her husband James cheating with other women in their home. I was going home for a surprise, surprise him, but I got surprised. How big a town do you live in? Small it's a town. small town. Huh? It's a small town? That's what I thought. 30,000, somewhere in there. Do men lock their doors when they see you driving by? I mean, you no. seem to do a lot no. of quantity. No, it ain't like that. No ma'am. Now, Mrs. Seaton, you done with him this time? I don't really want a divorce. I love this man. He's wanting one. I've had a hard life. And he's all the family I got left. Did you hear that, Mr. Seaton? Yes, ma'am, I did. She said, I had a hard life. Yes, ma'am. And he's all I know. Yes, ma'am. And it's been through cheating. And she still wants you. And she still wants to love you. And she still wants to be with you. Yes, ma'am. When you see somebody who's loved you like that, and is standing here in front of the world saying, despite what he did, I still love him. What does that make you feel? Horrible. Horrible. Was she good to you when she was with you? Yes, ma'am. Was she kind to you and cared for you? Yes, ma'am. And loved you? Except for the possessiveness and the controlling and the lack of communication in our marriage. Yes, ma'am. Well, now, that's a lot of accepts. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> when you say she was controlling, explain that to me. Uh, I'm not allowed to talk to any, any females at all. But she you kind of understand that, don't yeah, you, though? Yeah, I understand. But then when I'm talking to another female, she want to stick her nose up in things and want to know where I'm sat, what I'm doing at the whole, all the time. But you kind of bought that, though, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. I mean, if, I, if, if, if I'm standing here with a hammer, and every time you walk by, I'd clunk you on the head with it. It's going to hurt. And then the ninth time, I said, come on, I'm not going to clunk you. <laughs> You're still going to duck. Right. She's still ducking, because usually when you she walks by, you clunk her. Yes, ma'am. So you can't really say she's controlling or possessive. She's just uh, responding inappropriately to incoming stimuli, yes, which is you running around. I did. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn gives James a lesson on trust. He don't trust me. Well, you know. I, mean, I don't trust that. you, Joe. Don't trust you. Nobody in here trusts you because Sorry. you've proven to be untrustworthy. Divorce Court returns with the case of James Seaton, who wants to divorce his wife for the second time because he feels she doesn't trust him. I was.
was watching you when she was telling me that she still loved you. Yes, ma'am. And I saw on your face you still cared for her. And I see it right now. Do you still love her? Yes, ma'am, I do. Why do I'm you not in love. What's the difference? The difference is in love, you honor and cherish, and you take care of her from right. now on. But I'll never abandon her. No matter what happens here today, I'll never abandon her. She's the mother of my children. Mr. Seaton, that is not the face of a man who's not in love. You look like you care deeply for her. Yes, ma'am. I mean, are you expecting rockets and, 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 and uh, sparklers throughout? Because you're not going to get that with anybody, you know. No, ma'am. Is there another woman? No, ma'am, there's not. I, I try, you know. Uh, but one what of is she doing that makes you want to leave? Well, I mean, what, what, why are you unhappy? Um, just the anger and, the, and the, lack of, the lack of communication that me and her has. I try to talk to her. She changed the subject, go somewhere else with it. You know, I can't, I can't, I can't go on like it. Mrs. C, how can you talk to somebody when they tell you to shut up? Is that how he talks to you? Yeah. I try to tell him how I feel. He tells me to shut up. Has he always been like that, or is that new since the, Kinda the last off marriage? Off. off and on? Yeah, but he, he knows my childhood life. He knows what it was. But what was it like? Your Honor, I'm still in love with this man. I love him to death, and I've been through a lot, and it started when I was a baby. I was found in a motel closet, locked up for a week, dirty diaper, nothing to drink. I was adopted when I was three. That's the only parents I had. They're deceased. And my first marriage to my husband, first husband, mm -hmm. I wasn't loved. I didn't know what love was growing up in school, all my whole childhood life. When I first met this man, it was like love at first sight. Mm -hmm. And I had to actually get him to stop and talk to me. He'd come in the door where I worked, let it shut, and he'd speak while I couldn't hear him. Mm -hmm. He'd have the mouth ring. He actually saying, hi, sweetheart. And it's, it's, it's been wonderful, and I don't, I don't... You don't want to let it go? Don't want to let it go. Do you hear what he's saying to me about the communication issues? Do you know what he's talking about? He won't let me have no communication. He can be mad at something that's gone wrong, and I could tell him I love him, and that's the wrong no, thing to that say. Ain't right. Yes, it is. No, it you ain't. You won't never listen to me because you yes, think I you do. don't control me, and I don't. You no, don't. I don't. I've got no, 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 Miss do, do, do you do you see her and do you feel her voice? Yeah. She feels like whenever she says anything, that you respond with anger if you don't want to hear it, that she's not really heard and respected. Do you hear that? Yes, ma'am. Now, now, take a minute and look in your past. Look deep down in your heart. Do you listen to her? Do you make her feel like she's somebody when she speaks to you? No, do ma'am, I don't. I ignore her. Why do you ignore her? She needs to let me go do my job where I'm supposed to be out on the road and not try to jump in the truck every time I leave. You know, she sits in the truck. She lived in the truck with me for four months because she don't trust me. Well, <laughs> you know. I don't trust you, actually. Joe. Don't trust you. Nobody in here trusts you because Sorry. you've proven to be untrustworthy. The solution to that isn't saying, I'm not going to be with you because you don't trust me. It's, I will do what I need to do to allow you to trust me again. Right. And tomorrow on this special two-part session of Divorce Court, will James and Penny Seaton discover through DNA testing that they are siblings? In this case, the question was, do they share a common biological parent? And will James use the possibility that he and Penny are brother and sister as an excuse to continue cheating on her? I can't love her like I'm supposed to.